You sure you don't want me to drive? Why would I want that, Boot? Control, 7 out of 19, requesting LAFD to 3301 Dittmer for a guy trapped in a wall. Why am I doing this? Boot, get in there. If I go over this trailer, I'll come up on top of him. With all due respect, I should go. Good. All right, pass the night's test. Get your ass up there. Police! Drop your weapon! What do you want? Plaz? Get down here. 7 out of 19, code 4. One in custody, one outstanding. Respectfully, sir, that'll never stick. It doesn't matter. Just start processing. Hey, do you want me to give you a shout if I see the detectives? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? I came here to remind you that you'll regret helping her because it's not gonna change her. But it'll sure as hell change you. Remember, no mercy. Got it. You're having fun, aren't you? No. <laughs> On me. Go. Hey, I, um, I just checked with Dr. Morgan the vaccine's minutes away. Yeah, you're good at a lot of things. Lying isn't one of them. You think I'm good at things? Can I get that in writing? You're going to read this out loud to me between calls. You're going to have to reread all of this anyway to really memorize it. No, I memorize best when I hear it. Really? Here. What's this? It is Split Second Leadership, Leading Men in the Line of Duty, the audiobook. Thanks. I think I can help. Wait. You want to set me up? <laughs> Forget it. I'm serious. If I can fix you up on one good date, just one, I get to, uh, I get to wear short sleeves. I know you're probably worrying about what to get Rachel. Don't. You are riding with the world's best gift giver. So let's start brainstorming. What are you thinking about getting her? This is important. Officer Bradford is a 12 year veteran. He's been wounded five times in the line of duty. He deserves your respect, not whatever macho crap this is. The last time I gave you romantic advice, I pushed you towards Caleb and you almost died. What happened wasn't your fault. It wasn't mine either. Oh, oh uh, de-escalate. We do not want to make things worse for Jackson. Hey, Stan, you want to brush up on any arrest control techniques, I'm available. Let's go. We are on duty, so come on. Oh, that's sweet. Your hot little boot's trying to rescue you. You're the one that's going to need rescuing. Right, come on, boot. We got a suspect to book. You know, when I was a rookie, I couldn't wait to get off probation. Oh, I am excited. Believe me. But I also know the importance of acknowledging your loss when going through something like this. Acknowledging your loss? <laughs> Officer Chen impressed me with every decision she made today. I will miss riding with her. I got two roving sergeants for six divisions. Welcome to your new reality. That's why you should take on the sergeant's aid. <laughs> I don't need an aid. It's not a sign of weakness. You should have just asked me. So are you saying you want the job? If you're saying you want me to do it. What the hell? Let's do it. Care for a friendly wager? Who finds the treasure first? You're on. If we find it first, you have to stay quiet in the shop for an entire shift. And if we win, you have to do something completely out of your comfort zone. Third role of undercover work. Know your audience. You are not trying to fool another criminal. You're trying to fool a woman who gets her ideas about crime from Lifetime movies. Put it on. Fine. Thank you. You're a man now because of me. No. I am who I am in spite of you. The Tim Tess. Those don't make me like him. I know. You're nothing like him. I Are you okay? I, why didn't anyone tell me? I don't know. I'm, I'm good. 
I'm good. Doctor said I'm gonna make a full recovery. Okay. What are you doing? I'm keeping you company. You don't have to do that. I know. Hello, good morning. Chen? Sanford? What's up with him? He's just grumpy with everything he's got going on. Wait, what? what's going on? Look, and just so you know, I, I did appreciate your whole radio gag a little. Took my mind off things. Okay. Okay. Uh, Blake, let's see your pitch. Hi. Um, who are you? They're kids. It's supposed to be fun. Yeah. This is weird, right? Our dad coached Tim's Little League team for all of three days. He has literal scars. He's trying not to be like him. Yeah. But every time. Be encouraging. Yes, good. Good job. Good try. We're going to work on that. Prim goes to motors. Hicks could move over. And Tim takes the open spot in Metro. How? I'm smarter than people think. Smitty, you gotta do it. I mean, if not for me, think of Tim. Prim winds up in motors and Hicks takes his place. Lieutenant Pine just called me 15 minutes ago and I'm going over. That's great. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. Greg gave me a rock star reveal. Yeah, well, he should. You're amazing. Look, I wanted to throw that guy in jail for putting his son in that position. But? You're a good influence. You're gonna make a really great dad one of these days. I'm gonna have to. You keep losing our kids everywhere you go. Come on, stop it. You know, I've never gone as deep as Isabel did. And you're worried you won't be able to handle it. No, I'm worried that you won't. I'll be fine. It's scary. Yeah, I thought I had a heart attack. Like, it's not my first time. I know. It's probably what makes it worse. I gotta get back to the station. Gray's waiting for a status update. But no, I hate that. Lock the door first. I don't need you protecting me. I know. So clearly what you're saying is you need me protecting you. Clearly. <laughs> you know me so well.